The following describes a solution scenario where access to VPN gateways is based on the compliance defined in Microsoft Intune. So we want to make sure that only devices that are compliant according to the compliance rules defined in Microsoft Intune are able to access the environment. So you can establish a VPN connection, you perform a SAML based authentication and only if Microsoft Intune declares the device to be compliant, the user will get access to applications hosted in the cloud or on the on-premises data center. Let's look at the trust relationship. We have the Microsoft Corporate Portal application running on Windows 10, connecting to Intune. This connection is a dedicated connection outside of the VPN connection to the gateway only used to verify the compliance state. Users are typing in credentials to, authentic to authenticate against Intune. Then the user starts a VPN connection to the VPN gateway. The VPN gateway then uses an identity provider object communicating with the service principal that is part of the Microsoft Azure Active Directory tenant. We have an identity provider on the management server that is as well communicating with the service principal and communicating with the gateway. And this element is instructing the gateway to know the elements here in the identity provider. The policy decision point on the security gateway will be able to generate identity awareness sessions. In order to make this environment work, we need to have DNS resolution and certificates working as expected. The VPN gateway needs to have a certificate that is trusted by the VPN client. Authentication using SAML protocol means that a browser instance is talking to a web server instance and this is why the certificate issued to this gateway needs to be trusted by the VPN client and by the operating system running the VPN client. When the browser inside the VPN client connects to the VPN gateway to the server instance, the server instance is sending a redirect to the browser instance and the browser then connects to the service principle in Microsoft Azure then the service principle in Microsoft Azure initiates the authentication process of this user on this device against the Active Directory instance. Here we have a conditional access rule involving Microsoft Intune compliance. The compliance verdict will be given to Azure Active Directory and a token is issued or not issued back to the client. Because the authentication methodology uses TLS, so web client to web browser principle, it is imperative that the certificate that is issued here to the VPN gateway is trusted by the operating system of the client and that DNS name resolution is configured in the way that the VPN gateway's DNS name is resolvable to the public IP address and matching the subject and subject alt name in the certificate issued by the CA. To summarize, in Microsoft Azure, we have a tenant knowing users, devices, and the group users and devices belong to, and we have a compliance policy assigned to the group. We have an identity provider configured in Microsoft Azure as a service principle, and this service principle is configured on the checkpoint management gateway as an identity provider. And this object is then pushed in the security policy on the gateway and makes the gateway acting as an identity service provider. We then have a corporate portal application running on the Windows computer. And we have the VPN client connecting to the gateway, performing the SAML authentication. And the IDP instance on the security gateway is initiating the redirect and initiating that this client authenticates 
via the service principle to Microsoft Azure with the compliance policy verification. Once the compliance date has been verified, the SAML token is issued and then we have a connection. The identity session is then created on the PDP instance and from here it can be shared to any other security gateway. In order to build the environment, you need the RFE software. You need to install it fresh on top of Jumbo Hotfix Take 55. You need a tenant Azure Active Directory at Microsoft Intune, a certificate authority and have the DNS configured accordingly. So first, make sure you have a detailed planning, map out the DNS names, their IP addresses to have the certificate issued, and then plan your Microsoft Intune configuration. Thank you for your attention and good luck.